holidays put a strain on your relationship. You're not alone. So how do you know if all that bickering was just seasonal stress or sign to throw in the towel? Here to help is Dr. Carmen Hada, a psychologist and relationship expert. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. So excited. Yes. Okay. So, so many relationships tend to fall apart during the holidays. So why do you think that is? Holidays are very emotional and people become so anxious because they want to feel happy. They might not be ha feel happy inside. So reality is that uh, all this anxiety, all this stress is causing uh, a lot of arguing and uh, uh, is putting that pressure on on a couple so people start to uh, disagree and it's very easy for a relationship to fall apart during this uh, time of the year which is the best time of the year and we should actually celebrate relationship and celebrate the idea of family and project things for the future and strike a better conversation and improve and heal so um, that will be the, the 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 best way to handle relationship and not uh, destroy what we've been building for years. Absolutely. So it is a new year, and a lot of people want to make a fresh start in this new year. So is this a good time to start dating when we're trying to sort of reinvent ourselves? I don't think this is the best time to date. You can date at any time of the, of the year. But in order to, to date, um, you have to be ready. A relationship is a reflection of what's inside you. And if inside you, you're not happy, if inside you, you're not ready, that's going to be reflected in the relationship. This time of the year, this beautiful time of the year is the time to introspect, is the time to analyze, is the time to heal. So you have to look inside yourself and ask yourself, do I still harbor negativity from my ex? Uh, I was able to let him go or not? Am I still holding on to him? So have a conversation with yourself and try to heal from whatever happened in the past so that uh, relationships uh, uh, have to have a fresh start if you're ready for a fresh start. So work on yourself. This is the time to heal and work on yourself. Okay, I like that. Work on yourself first, then try to find a relationship. Good right. advice. So I'm sure a lot of couples got engaged over the holidays. It's that magical time. But now that all the excitement has worn off, do you have any advice for couples who are newly engaged heading into the new year? Well, you have to ask yourself, am I in good standing? Because this time of their being emotional, everybody will say yes. If you propose during this time of the year, uh, it's going to be a yes, but then you're going to ha have a second thought. You don't want that second thought. You don't want a doubt. You can propose any time of the year. You can propose at the, at, during the night. But make sure your relationship is in good standing. You are where you want to be, and you plan a future together. And as I said, make sure you are already healed. When you propose, you know exactly what you want, and your relationship is in good standing. Okay, so any advice if maybe you said yes because it was Christmas and you had all these relatives around, but now maybe you're having second thoughts, but maybe don't want to end the relationship. Any advice for that? Well, and again, you have to revisit. You have to have that, you know, deep conversation with yourself. Become an adult and ask yourself, is it what I really want right now? Is okay. this the partner that, who's my match? You know, so try to think. Think very deeply and ask yourself, is this the perfect time for me to say yes? So reanalyzing, introspecting, you know, reflecting upon your own decision before doing it is the wisdom of the decision. Okay, any advice for couples who maybe want to spice things up for the new year? Great idea, because we should always uh, uh, do this during this time of the year. Reinvent the holiday, create a new tradition, go to a new restaurant, Go to a place where you fall in love for the first time. If you've been in a relationship for a long time, you know probably the chemistry is not there anymore. The attraction, the physical um, attraction is not there. So you want to raise the level of your dopamine, adrenaline to, uh, to make uh, uh, you know, the, the, the bedroom feel more and more comfortable in terms of the, the, the physical chemistry. So people should work on that by you know, reinvent your, your appearance, uh, look better, 
uh, try to feel more uh, in tune with your partner. Work on the things that haven't been working great on yourself. But this is the time of the year when you can actually improve a relationship, make it better, and plan for the time ahead, for the years ahead. All right. All right. Thank you so much. That was great advice, advice we could all use if we're in a relationship or if we're not. So thank you so much for joining us today. And for more advice from Dr. Hada, you can visit her website at CarmenHada.com. Amy Schneider,